In the third video, we're going to send a real life request with authentication to the GitHub endpoint, which is exactly like what we did in the Explorer, but this time we're going to do it in Insomnia. The steps would be the first, we need to get the token from GitHub, and then we need to send the, set the environment variables in Insomnia. And then we need to use the variable as a token in the header, and then we can successfully send the login query. So the first step is to get the token from GitHub, which is listed in the document here. So after following the document, we can get a personal access token for our GitHub account, which looks like this. It is a string. We can copy it and save it somewhere else. Now we go to Insomnia. We are going to create a new request. I can just name it as a first request and just create. We need to fill in the endpoint, which is the graphical endpoint for GitHub. We can find it from the document here. Copy it, paste here. Then we need to select the body, which is a graphical query. And then we're going to fill in the login info query, which is a simple graphical query. It looks like a very nice graphical request sent into this endpoint. We can try to click send. And then we will see that this endpoint requests you to be authenticated, which is because we missed the authentication header. So how to solve the problem? One possible solution is that we can simply set the authentication header in this tab using bearer token, copy our token value here and send. But a better solution would be to set the environment variable here in the manage environments window. We can see that inside here, the base environment is an empty JSON. We can simply copy our token value here as a JSON value and set the key token. After setting the environment, we can go to the bearer tab, set the token here using environment variable key token. We can see that the value has been successfully applied here as a token. And later, if we want to update it, we can simply update it in the environment variable. So now go back to the query, we click send. We can see that the request has succeeded with all the information we needed in the query here.